If we are serious about climate change, and if we, are, if we genuinely mean the commitments that we make internationally on climate change, then we can categorically say that we need to keep in the ground at least three quarters of conventional fossil fuel reserves. At least three quarters of conventional fossil fuel reserves. That means there is no scope for developing any alternative unconventional fossil fuel reserves, whether it's tar sands or whether it's underground coal gasification or whether it's shale gas that, or shale oil, that we do not need more fossil fuels. We need much, much less fossil fuels. We, all are, we are all fully aware that you do not get substitution between these. You only get them being additional. So people say that shale gas, gas is, is lower emissions than coal, but we will burn the coal as well as the gas. So they will both be burned. We have such a short time frame available to wean ourselves away from fossil fuels that these unconventional reserves are any relevance in terms of climate change, even if they could substitute. They, firstly, they were very unlikely to substitute, but the time frame we have is so tight that even if they could substitute, to say coal, which is higher emissions per unit of energy produced, then we don't have the time frame to make that transition anyway. So there is absolutely no reason from a climate perspective, there is, in fact there is every reason from a climate perspective, to keep all of the unconventional fossil fuels in the ground, as well as at least three quarters of the conventional fossil fuels in the ground. There is as much clarity as you can get over any area of climate science about what really matters when we think about fossil fuel reserves.